Hello everyone, this is Satvik and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can hunt for subdomains of a particular target in Kali Linux. So without getting any delay, let's start. Friends, you can follow this process along on any Linux distribution. For my convenience, I'm using Kali Linux and you also need a tool called Sublish Test. If you don't, if you don't have it, you need to install it by apt get install sublist 3r hit enter since i had already downloaded it so i'm not getting anything if you are, if you haven't downloaded it give yes and proceed so and you also need a target a target domain and the pro the process of running sublister is pretty simple you need to type sublister and uh, for checking what the options uh, what are the options I'll go with minus H and you can see a pretty uh, options a pretty number of options and the easiest way is you can go by sublister minus T and the domain name for our convenience and to, uh, to view this we will be going with tesla.com so if you ask me what is the need of hunting for subdomains because you might not always find vulnerabilities in their main website because uh, they might be uh, fixing it as soon as as the bug comes but there might be some subdomains which are not maintained properly so you can hunt for the bugs and you can report it so that you can get you can get some bug bounty i had done since uh, i had done this and i got some bug bounty rewards also so you so I insist you to follow this method while going for bug bounty hunting. Okay, so I had uh, run this command successfully and it is searching in Baidu and it searching in all the search engines and also in the virus total. And you can see we got 137 subdomains. So what you need to do is you need to go to the each subdomain and you need to start hunting. Okay you might find some vulnerability and always choose for the least travel subdomain okay because you might find bugs more there if you go if you start targeting the main website you might not find the bugs always so friends this is how you can hunt for subdomains in kali linux and there is also some tools and some browser extensions i will be showing you sorry browse uh, sorry some web applications so this is my browser machine there is a tool called not by github you it's also a subdomain scanner but it's after the subdomain only so we'll download this okay we'll clone it control L cd desktop and to install it you need to go with git clone and paste the com or paste the uh, git link github link and you can see that the git knock is downloaded right now and click on ls so that you can see knock there browse into the directory and git ls to view all the files here you can see something like setup.py so in order to run this you need to give some executable permissions further to chmod plus x setup.py hit enter now you need to run this by dot slash setup.py then it will be showing some commands here and what you need to do is dot slash setup.py and install sorry And you can see that this, uh, the knockpy has been all the requirements has been successfully installed so now let's go back and check once again now we need to go to this directory knockpy for that you need to type cd knockpy ls you can find knockpy.py and again you need to give the executable rights for this file for that chmod sorry plus x dot pi sorry 
and we need to run that slash dot slash knock by minus h so that we can be all the arguments that this needs so we'll quickly do the same we got the examples here also so what we'll be doing is again tesla.com and it will take some time and what it also provides is it provides the IP address also so which can be really helpful so the difference between the sublister and the knockpy is you will get more details in knockpy compared to that of sublister but sublister is pretty fast as you can see uh, by this time the sublister has given all the domains but this this takes some time because it's finding all the server names uh, type status etc okay and there is also a web application no, known as crt.sh and so this is uh, the web application i will provide the link for all of them in the description below so what you need to do is star dot tesla dot com and click on search here the star is a wildcard entry okay you will find all the things that are related to the tesla okay you'll find the certificates etc or you can simply type tesla.com i think tesla.com will be fine you can find my tesla.com static tesla so this is also same if you don't have kali linux you can simply go with uh, the crt.sh and give the domain name you can try this on almost all domains which contain subdomains so friends this is how you can hunt for subdomains in kali linux or even on your any other machine which is having browser so if you like this video please like it and do subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos like this this is satvik signing off